Coming up, uh, one of our subjects will be on energy, uh, energy use for the future. Here is a, a picture from the New York Times that I found astonishing. And all of these are flows of energy in millions, thousands of barrels a day from Canada into the United States, from Mexico into the United States, from South America into the United States, from Africa into the United States, from Europe into the United States, from somewhere up there into the United States, from the Middle East, the big one, into the United States, from, from the uh, Far East into the United States. Oh my God, we're just sitting there sucking the world dry of oil. Is that good or bad, or what does it mean? Okay. I can promise you it won't last for the lifetime of your children. I can practically promise you it won't last for your lifetime, and it may not last for my lifetime. In fact, I, every time I go by the gas station now, it seems like it's a nickel more for a gallon of gas. Okay, so. What are the options in front of us? The main three options are conservation, that's also equated with getting poor, maybe. Coal, got lots of it. It's dirt, not good for the environment, uh, the atmosphere, but we know we got it and it works. And nuclear. Well, little plus, little minus there. I want you all to take a position. Positive one of the three, negative one of the three. Got that? And we're going to have a debate. Do reading in general to prepare yourself for that. We're going to have several classes in a row that are going to be your classes, not mine. And today is going to be an energy debate. Now. You each took a position. I want everybody who is pro-nuclear to raise their hands. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> I want everybody who was pro-conservation, pro raise your hand. Everybody who's pro-coal. Nobody's pro Okay, everybody's pro-coal, come with me. We meet back here at, at quarter past. For nuclear? Yeah, we'll, we'll power. Because if we don't use it and we continue to use coal or any other source of energy is not nuclear, that's going to damage the earth atmosphere. We have the best nuclear option, but we're not using the nuclear option because we are afraid, the citizens of the United States of America is afraid that nuclear is a bad source of energy. Every year, uh, nuclear. A 1,000 megawatt nuclear plant kills about one people, one person per year, mining for uranium. 1,000 megawatt coal plant kills about 10 people per year. Five people in the mines, four people of emphysema from working around coal, and one person at railroad crossings, actually. Chernobyl, the accident that why it occurred was because they didn't have a secondary um, infrastructure that is usually mandated for any nuclear power plant. I read it was 100 times more effective for the fusion of a uranium atom than something like uh, burning coal. And with the kind of reactors that are used now, I read something like we don't have enough fuel for 500 years. With the, the estimates varied, but if you used a, a breeder reactor, it's something like 2 billion years worth of fuel. Yeah, we were just talking about that, and according to Dr. Hall, the breeder reactors are extremely expensive to run and maintain, but you can argue that in the future, you know, technology will allow us to do it for cheaper, so yeah. it's a good point because the breeder reactor keeps using its own fuel, it converts it back and forth. By the end, the end product is less harmful than the original uranium ore. So that's weapons grade plutonium you're dealing with, so they're going to bring that up. But also, a lot of the problems with, with terrorists or whoever getting the, the uranium and plutonium has been that the new plants send it off to get reprocessed, and a lot of the new plants have reprocessing right there. So it never has to leave the site, and it's a lot more secure. Just the economics of it doesn't make any sense. From what I read, they said that the use of nuclear power was actually the most um, inexpensive. Within conservation, if you were to conserve more things, developing nations don't want to get poorer, 
So conservation really isn't an, an, an idea that we should even entertain in this section. Because coal is our most abundant source of energy on this, in the United States, it, it covers about 95% of our land resources, we would not be reliant on external sources of energy. One handful of plutonium shot into an air conditioning system in a building like this could kill everyone. So just to show you guys how toxic something like that is. Okay, for anti-coal, um, you guys are saying that you have all, all this coal left, but how long is that going to last? And we've already learned our, how many years? 400. Are you using the same math as the people are using with the oil, though? Or are you using a good point. Math? They say 400 years, but that's only at today's U trade. We have to make up the oil, and it won't last so long. Good point. And are you going to run jets and cars on coal? Are you gonna, what are you going to? How are you going to do that? Are you going to shovel it in the back of you know <laughs> the, the army's or an air force's plane stuff? It's not going to work. How are you going to run that? You still need oil for that. Um, so it's not a renewable resource. It is going to be depleted at some point. And in the beginning, I was for nuclear, but then when I started doing research, there's a lot of scary stuff out there with it there's a 45% chance of a complete nuclear meltdown in the next 20 years. Plutonium is an immediate effect. Everyone's really scared of something that's immediate. But if you think about coal, that's something that's long term. Maybe you won't all die in the first second, but maybe all of you will get lung or emphysema or black lung cancer or something like that. What's going to happen when we don't have enough energy resources? Who won the debate? Over here. Uh, what's your position? Say your position. Uh, nuclear power. Woo! Woo! Yes, 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 no words. Yes, hands. Who won the debate? Nuclear. Who won the debate? Conservation. <laughs> Who won the debate? Coal. Did anybody change their mind? 